Alrighty, so let me actually expand this a little bit here. Play this in full. There is sound though, just one little thing here. Ding dong. That's me. And then this guy. And that. Into this. Cool. I'm going to turn off that sound. And the first thing would be, the weird thing is that there is sound. And then there's no sound. Is that a big deal? Not crazy, but it would be cool if he had some sound of, you know, something in there and then him going, oh, like just like a bit of a sound that you don't have to do any type of lip sync, but just hear the sound. You have a sound for this and a little bit of Foley sound, like the clicking of this and then like some shuffling sound. I mean, if you already, and then of course, this. So if you already add sound that you, it feels like to me at least you want to be consistent and add just a bit more. Um, but personally, I don't think you need sound for this. Just because if he's like this and he goes, huh? That eye line already goes to this. And then you're showing him looking through it. So, okay, well, I guess there must be something. Uh, and then you have that, right? I think, I think that is going to be okay. Apart from that, the funny thing is, I wonder what kind of lens you have there. Just, it seems like that he is fairly close to the door. But then it does take a couple steps. And once we hear and going, holy moly, that's a huge doorknob compared to him. It's a massive door. And then it's also fairly cartoony in its in its offsets, like you know, like the the lines where it's slightly more organic. This feels normal, but then this feels slightly skewed. But then you go back, that's actually in the model, it seems like. Uh again, it seems like a really huge door for him is that a big problem no which is kind of a quick visual thing and then you mentioned here in your email that this is kind of that that peeping not that peeping hole <laughs> it's more like that viewfinder you know like whatever it's called actually i can't remember that you're saying that you don't know what it's called commonly and i'm um forgetting i think i mean peephole i think peephole is a thing spy hole door viewer i don't know <laughs> i don't know actually what it would be and I should, but anyway, and probably what you could do is actually go even wider with your lens so that this line actually turns more into almost like a fish eye because it's kind of like a fish eye thing. And then I would do some vignetting where uh, you put like a, a black sphere around it. So you have actually, imagine this is black, right? So you have a circle in terms of all black. You know, if you want to push the idea of, of him looking through it, even if it's clear already, I think you could push it visually if you want to and then really make it a super long uh, wide lens so that the lines are really curved into to that idea again like more like a, a fisheye lens type of thing now that being said animation wise um this is super picky but it seems a bit of a bummer like visually how this kind of sticks out of the face um what is he doing here he looks you know what I mean like then you have all that right there it would be nice to have a clean look and I think you don't really need, you could take this out and just cheat it, just have this. And even this could be a bit of a darker color. Just cheat it so that it's not right there, just visually. And then animation wise. So what I'm seeing here, you have that look. And the thing is, it's a bit pose to pose. I know the hand comes down first, but it's really pretty much at the same time of hand and head looking over. Also with that look, it's mostly in here, the head looking. There's not really any organic follow of that um, lower at the neck here and then a little bit of the chest. So it feels a bit too simple, it's rotations. Then you have an overall move of the root, but then it's weird because it feels just like a glide or like, you know, like a ghost hover over there. It doesn't feel like he's leaning over on this leg, which means that it's a bit of an arc and a bit of a change in the uh in the push of the hips because of the weight shift it just feels all just a bit too simple there and maybe that is also a bit weird because he's doing something with on the phone it might just be swiping or holding but then if you change and he goes down there would be a bit of a change in the fingers so you're gonna need a bit more polish on that and watch out you have this a uh, bit of a weird rotation here when that arm goes down whoa right through there it's almost like it's for a couple frames it almost sticks through there it's almost like a pivot is almost here so the amount of rotation you go up is kind of countering exactly the translate down of that wrist giving this this weird moment through there 
So watch out for that. You do have a weight shift now. That's good. It's still all a bit stiff in this section of the torso there. And then it gets a bit too simple. We're right through there. Now suddenly you have this big thing of... A, you have mostly an elbow move that doesn't really activate the upper body, uh, the upper arm. And then with this, it's suddenly shoulder, this, the chest, and even the head to some degree, especially through here-ish, all moving as one unit, which makes it feel very blocky and a bit too simple. And then as you get there, that arm comes back and then that stays kind of put. Again, it's almost like there's a there's a pin here. A bit stuck and then suddenly, whoa, it's suddenly like a pop. It's a linear key of the elbow. Just a couple frames. Nothing in here. That is a bit stuck in that same pose finger-wise. It gets a bit too simple through there. But again, just that turn feels a bit weird and hovery. I'm not quite seeing a lot of... Not that he has to bounce, you know, like up and down a lot, but it just still feels it's very, very hovering. And especially through here, you can see this line. If I do some onion skinning here and I draw a line on this, you can see through there how it's just gliding so horizontally over to the left. Whereas if he's like this, it's imagine legs are spread out and then he goes over this one leg here, hips will go up here. But then the root goes up a bit. You have an arc like this in your root. So it's not straight, but a bit more like that. That needs to be added there. A bit stiff in how that arm kind of comes over and stops and kind of comes in there. Watch out for that. Again, it's a bit much how only the lower arm moves up. It doesn't quite use the upper arm up until here. You do have shoulder movement here, which is good. When you get to this, it's a bit simple as right there, like when the arm comes up here, stops, and then moves forward, and it's just kind of a rotation through there, but I don't see any changes in the hand pose. He's clearly leaning on this now, so there's no compression, there's no change in rotation, because he's leaning on this, which, you know, it goes in, like this is, this is recess, this area, and that hand is over that recess area, so as you push, you would have a bit of a rotation this way, Fingers might spread a bit. This is a bit horizontal. I think you can give a bit of a nicer shape in this, where if he pushes up, I mean, to me, it would be a bit leaning over in the upper body, a bit more, you know, my horrible drawing, but something more where it has a bit of more of a curvature with maybe like a weight shift there, and then that arm could hang down a bit more like that. It feels just really stiff with a broken neck area like that. Then we're getting into here, and this is, I mean, you can scrub through, and it's always a good example to see what's missing. There's a lot of movement through here, obviously. He's doing all that business. But there's zero animation here. There's zero animation in the head. There's a weird separate animation just in the jaw moving over. So this is very, very simple still. Now you got that, that move up here with the eyes, which is fairly linear, which is good. You want darts in the eyes, but then there's nothing in the eyebrows. There's no change. In, in overall body pose, there's nothing in the root. You mean like it's very all very simple. This kind of drops. I would probably push this where the fingers open first, two three frames earlier. Then this drops and make this a bit more cartoony. I think the drop is okay. It's a bit fast, maybe. Over how that fall right at the very end, maybe the last two frames. Drop is okay. There's a bit of an acceleration. It feels like it's going to just stop here-ish, but then it suddenly moves over. It comes to a very quick stop, so that slide feels a bit too much. It might go maybe this far, and that's it. Again, this feels a bit too simple in your mechanics, where A, the whole body just starts moving. It's a big move over there with the foot. Big move. Everything is post to pose. Everything moves at once there. But then it has a pop, where if you look at this, the head goes from here to here, and then bam, then it's kind of locks. Same thing with the body locks. The foot pops over and then locks over there. Same thing as it comes back. It's like two frames and bam, there's no compression or change, change in the root where he might go <gasps> and push himself up. And so the root arc is up, at, but then at the end down a little bit. So he might go, you know, splat against this, but still kind of come down a bit with the roots. There's no compression pushing on the fingers there again this is very simple here you can scrub and you can see you're just gonna 
frame through where it's just in the head. There's no arc in that turn. It doesn't take any of the other body parts with it. It feels just a bit too simple through there. There's an arc there, which is cool, but again, not enough here. You're starting to have movement there, which is cool, but it's a bit too simple through there. Then we're back into a bit more two pose to pose. Same thing here, almost pose to pose. I do appreciate the stretch there, but it's okay. It's fairly fast. I can get away with that stretch. This is cool. I like this. The rhythm of this and bloop, 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 bloop. that's cool. I like the mechanics and the look of all of this, how he slides the leg, the legs over. That's great. And I like that little adjustment of holding here with one hand and then going up with this. I think at this point you might even bring that hand back up a bit. That's all cool. But then watch out. You got that little move of that pull, but nothing else in the body is moving. Again, the arms feel a bit simple in terms of the shoulders and chest are not quite enough. It's, it's better, but it's a bit more. And that's about it. Now, this was extremely picky and really step-by-step, -step, mainly because you are mentioning in your email that you just want to hear everything, all the comments, even though you, you are pretty far, um, you say in the email here, that, in the shot. So obviously ignore whatever you need to ignore in terms of you know how much you want to incorporate and you want to start a new shop. But these are all my notes that you wanted to hear. Um, and there's good stuff in it, you know, but I'm, I'm just finding out everything that I feel needs work. Um, so don't feel like this is just like a, a bashing of everything. But uh, I think all these points just need more work if you want to have a, a bit more of a refined clip, if that makes sense. I, just in terms of mechanics and animation from a technical point of view. The idea, though, is sound. Like, I like all of this. The look, you go look through. I think that's a funny reveal. You wanted this to be a mother-in-law with an old lady, basically. I don't think if that joke... Like, how would you know that it's the mother-in-law? Well, I mean, I guess you could just go like, oh, old lady. Maybe it's the mom, grandmother. I mean, you could kind of guess something. Um, but this is very clear. I don't mind this. And watch out. This is a bit of a broken wrist there. If I look at this at that pose... But then I like this into that. I like that he does this. I mean, it's his home. You might argue that he might look around, look at this. And then when he does that, he's already looking over this way. It's his home. He knows where that where that switch is. So he might look around, look at this down, and then turn around the head. And already a little bit of the body, just enough to not break this, this arm-chest relationship. But he's already looking at the next spot. Like he's already thinking, oh, what should I do next? And then you can click that off, right? And then you can make that a bit more organic of a, of a overlap of post changes. And then this, and I love this. That's great. And I love how he gets into that. And then you get a cool ending with this here. I think that's cool. So good stuff in there. Just a little bit of a fine tuning of mechanics. Alrighty, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.